everyone. I'm out here today in the crate doing some digging. I've been out for about 12 days now. I've been sick, so I haven't been able to, to go digging. But we're out here today in the water and see if we can find some relics. I've got the AT Pro with me and a broken rock pick. And hopefully we will get into something today. The water's kind of murky, about waist deep, but I think I can handle it. Not many signals out here. And the water's kind of deep. A couple small iron signals every now and then. Not too much. I'm wearing a wetsuit under here, so I'm not, not too cold. The water is a little nippy today. I'd say it's about, about 65 degrees. Check over here in the, the gook. Oh man, sticks. Ah, oh, stick in my way. These sticks will beat you up now. You running these things? I found this axe head about 10 minutes ago. Old, old axe head. Got one of my old water spots. And, man, that does look pretty old, don't it? Old axe would probably clean up great in electrolysis. Got some new gloves today. They're kind of funky. Funky blue, but hey, it's better than wearing them ones with holes all in them. Let's go find some more. Hey everyone, I am out here today in the woods getting ready to do some digging. I'm heading to an old house site today and I found it a couple months ago but I, I never detected the place because it was too dark at the time and I was tired. So today we're going to head on out and see if we can find some relics at this place. Got my AT Pro with me. I'm going to be using it in Pro Zero with Iron Disc at 22 and maybe we can find something good. So let's get to it. Well, here's the ruins of the house. Not much left. Just a rock pile and some tin roof over there. But had to be old house site at one time. Pretty old for sure. I dug part to old broken mule shoe and a couple shotgun shells so far, but nothing really old yet. So hopefully we'll get into something. There's just iron everywhere. Well, I don't think this place has been dug too hard. I just got a killer 78 signal and it was a harmonica reed. Kind of hard to believe a harmonica reed ship that high. Solid brass, if y'all can see that. Solid brass harmonica it's reed. It's like a makeup compact. Look at that. It sure is. Makeup compact. It's kind of heavy. Heck, there could be coins in there. That is awesome. Let me clean it up a little bit. Could be a design on it. That's pretty neat. We'll open it up later. Could be coins in there. If there is, it'd be a surprise. I have an amazing signal right here. It's in the high 80s and 90s. But when you lift it up, you can't pick it up no more than like three inches off the ground. And it's only showing like two inches or four inches. Which means it could be like a coin or something. It's kind of choppy. With a small coil, we'll dig it anyway. Let's see what it is. It's actually under this log right here. I'm going to flip that log over. And got the signal. Could be trash. I don't know what it's gonna be. Well, it's out the hole. Sounds pretty dang good. Oh, heck, what is it? Oh, man. Look at that. Solid brass. Looks horse related. It's almost like a handle off a dress or something. I don't know. It's got that chain on it. That is cool, though. Man, that's awesome. Let's go find some more. There's just signals all over. It's like a nice lipstick case. Not that old, but I'll take it. Still cool to find them. I just found a mason jar lid at the base of this old tree here dug it out. There's no coins in the hole. I checked with the detector. But still. Could have been a jar full of money. Would have been nice. You find a lot of these jar lids around old houses. Common find. They show up in the 70s, sometimes low 60s. Or even 80s. Just depends. I just got a good signal here and I put up this piece of iron out the hole and then I found this nice brass chain in there with it. I found them before. They're pretty cool. Hopefully we can find some old coins today. It'd be nice. I'm sure they're out here. There's got to be at least an Indian head penny around here. 
especially near that big tree. I'm working my way along this tree and that's where I'm getting all the signals at. Alright, so here's why I use the small 5x8 inch coil. Let's say if you're swinging kind of fast, like this, all you get is iron right here. And just 20s, 30s, all over iron. Well, if you slow down and get in a house site and slowly move the coal, listen to that. 79. Oh, look, it's on top of the ground. You don't see it? I just kicked the dirt back, and there it was. Must be modern. Look, it's a coin right on top of the ground. I think it's a wheat penny. But it was mixed into all them nails. Yeah, it is a wheat penny. Man, the mosquitoes are bad. You can hear them buzzing. Just found an iron rains guide. Funny thing was, it showed up pretty good. I guess because it had the hole in the middle, gave that iron halo effect and made it sound a lot higher of a signal than what it actually is. Just found me old butter knife. Showed up as a 53, low signal. That's because it's brass. All right, maybe we'll find some spoons now. All right, check out this. I'm not sure what it is. It's an orange thing. And just eyeballed it. It's some type of plant. I don't even know if it's poisonous or anything. Look, it's got a hole in the middle there. I don't know what that is. I'm not good at plants or anything, except poison ivy. But besides that, I don't know what that is. That is weird. You find some weird stuff out in the woods. It's crazy. Man, that's a big tree. Over six foot diameter at the base there. I checked all around it, no signals. I did find a mason jar lid about five feet from it, but that was it. Nothing else in the hole. I think this has been dug because once you walk away from the house, there's like no signals, but within like 10 feet from the house foundation, there's signals everywhere, and that's where most people never look because they're too discouraged and they'll think they'll find trash everywhere. But with the AT Pro, if you set it up right and know how to use it, you can pick through all the iron and find all kinds of stuff all around the house foundation. That's my favorite place to look right beside the house. But I'm going to head back that way in a minute. I'm just checking around in here. Lots of rock piles from over the years of farming and stuff. Nice day out here, though. It's about 75 degrees, so it's not too hot. Cooled off. Well, here's all my finds for today. Didn't find too much. I only stayed an hour and 30 minutes, though. There's all the trash. There's iron, plows, stuff like that. Got a broken mule shoe. See where it's been broken. And just other junk. Uh, the non ferrous targets are over here. Well, the old ones, anyway. I got a brass chain, a butter knife, a couple harmonica reeds. Got a lipstick case. Got a really nice makeup compact. I couldn't open it. On the front it says Hollywood La Bonita looks like. I found them like it before. Just a common one. Probably 30s or so. And I got some other odds and ends. Rain's Guide. This thing here is probably off a horse harness or something horse related. Found a piece too old alarm clock. That thing is about a foot deep. Gave a killer signal. And also got a 1944 wheat penny. It's somewhere. I think it's in the front of my truck. I had it up there. So anyway, that's all my finds. Didn't stay too long, but hey, I think it was worth it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Good luck and happy hunting.